So I started by jacking up the mower. I jacked it up, got it all stands, took both of the wheels off, it's a lot easier. We take this front plate off right here, which is that right there. And then you're able to get to your filters. Now there's supposed to be some filter covers. I got the new filter on this side and I haven't put the new filter on this side. I'm still waiting for it to drain. There's supposed to be some filter covers that have three bolts on them. They just go cover the filter. This mower for some reason does not. So I will be ordering those because I just think that it keeps some of that grass and some of that stuff from getting in that filter. Um, but you know, you take those four bolts out of that plate, you're able to get to your filters once you take those covers off. And uh, like I said, I jacked it up, got it on stands and took the wheels off. Now there's, there's this bolt right here. Let me show you on this side. There's this bolt right here that it's a um, 11 16th and it's pretty hard to see but it's, oh Lord. It's, it's really hard to see, it's, it's, it's right under here. You'll be able to see it's right on top of the, uh, the pumps. And what this bolt does, you, you, you will need to loosen this bolt up so, so that um, when, you're feeling, when you're feeling the pumps back up, it lets all that air out. And once you see fluid coming out of there, that means your pumps is full. So you would tighten that bolt up and then you would just fill in both of your uh, your tank reservoirs to the cold fill line. And I did pump the tops on them. That way all that, uh, it lets all that oil out of there. Uh, but this is the easiest way to get to these bolts. Once you pull this axle off, they're really hard to get to. But this is the easiest way, especially if you have smaller hands, you can actually get in there. And once it's loosened up, you can loosen it up by hand and put it back in there. I do recommend you blowing off all this grass. You see all this grass that I got out of here? All this right here just came from right here, from both sides. And this, I got a lot out of there. So you can see all this right here. And I do recommend you getting a little blow gun like this and blowing it off really, really good before you pull any filters or any of the, any of the top bolts, just so you will not get so you won't get any kind of grass or anything in those pumps because that's that could be a big deal. So I really haven't finished blowing it off yet. As you can see, it's got a lot of grass, man. Uh, once you, uh, once you, you know, once I get everything on there, I'm going to blow it off again. But you know, I don't recommend you blowing anything off if you have any kind of bolts or if your filters are off because you don't want to get anything inside those pumps. And I did jack it up right here on the axle. It just made it a lot high, it made it, I was able to raise it up higher and uh, easier to get to. The filters are these right here. Uh, this is the, what they recommend, this is the, uh, what they recommend using. And this is the part number in case you need it. Part number is uh, 52114. It's for the hydro filters, and I'm using uh, 20W50 on the on the oil, and it takes it's supposed to take two quarts. I'm gonna fill it up about a quart and three quarters, and then I'm gonna run it for a little bit and just let it <clears throat> cycle up and make sure that I my reservoirs are, are uh, to the mark. But that's really it, man. There's nothing much to it. This is the easiest way I found. Like I said, I had to take, pull pull both tires and get on jack stands. It's just made it a lot easier to get to. Um, and uh, that's really all I have to do. Once I put that filter back on, uh, I'm gonna take the bolts off on the both sides and I'm gonna start filling it up. And once I see oil coming out of those two holes, I'll uh, screw them back in. And uh, we'll be, I'll put the tires back on, drop it and put oil in the reservoirs and uh, that should be it, man. So like I said, it's pretty easy. It's pretty easy. Uh, the hardest thing is just these bolts right here. But if you got smaller hands or if you got some kind of way, I just use this wrench right here and I was able to kind of get in there. Once I loosened it up a little bit, I could get it with my hand and I was able to get it out. I do recommend that once you pull those out, they have an O-ring. Uh, there is an O-ring on there. And make sure you check that O-ring, make sure it's not damaged or nothing like that before you put it in there. Just so you don't have to feel a mess with it later because you don't, it's hard to see if it's gonna be leaking or not, you know, especially down the road. So make sure that O-ring is good. It should be, I mean, there, there's, you know, but just double check it. So just in case, um, 
you know, anything else happens. Now this model number here is the one that has, uh, it came with uh, the bad pumps and I will be taking it to the dealer because I do see that on one side, on this tank here, it's using up oil. So I'm having to fill it up with oil every day. And uh, I think it's because of the pumps that this, this actual serial number, uh, there's a recall or something. So they'll replace them for free, of course, with a warranty and all that. So uh, I'll probably run it for a few days. If it's still doing the same, I'm definitely gonna take it to the shop and get them to replace the pumps so that's it man i just want to make a quick video and let y'all know how this thing works and uh if there's any updates i'll definitely post another video keep you updated thanks